Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. I'm Rose and I'm about to start an art career. Starting an art related career is scary, especially now with the upcoming of AI technology in the art world. So why would anyone start an art career now? Well, I'm going to and I am taking you on my journey as a self-taught artist to hopefully a full-time illustrator who can make herself a living of her art. I am a biology graduate and I've worked with monkeys, donkeys and other animals. Although I love animals and nature, art is my other passion and the path that I want to pursue. That is why I want to make a living from my art. But how will I do this? After endless searching on the web, watching tons of YouTube videos on this topic and having written down my goals and dreams, I have a small strategy now that will help me in the coming months and years. But first, what are my goals and dreams? My main goal would be to make a living from my art. This goal can be divided into community, financial and artistic goals. First, the community. To create a community, I want to make videos to share my journey on YouTube and also inspire others to study art and to follow their dreams. 2. Financial I want to earn enough money to live from my art business and to live independently. The income could be from an online shop, commissions and YouTube. 3. Artistic In case of my art, I want to make work that people connect with. I also want to find my style. I want to make art related to biology with an educational value, but also art for the soul, that I can really enjoy making. Now I've written my dreams and main goals down. If you have two, we can look on how we can achieve them. We can do that by dividing it in different phases. Kelsey Rodriguez made a video about a strategy for starting an art business. And parts of my strategy are based on her video. Check her out and also her Discord community is really good. She mentions that starting an art career takes place in different phases. My initial strategy will focus on two goals earning enough money to live and to build an audience. I've divided these goals into four parts. In order to meet my end goals, I will create smaller goals and it will help me achieve the overall goal. In order to achieve your goals, you will also have to write down how you will achieve these goals. For example, if you want to buy a new laptop, you also have to write down how you will do this. For example, I will set aside 150 euros every month for 5 months. This makes your goal more concrete. On YouTube. On YouTube, I want to make videos about my journey. I did not go to art school and I'm mostly self-taught. So why YouTube? YouTube is great for sharing stories. I'm still at the beginning of my art journey. I'm still not sure about my art style and what I want to do. Do I want to create biology related art or art with a story? I don't know yet. One of my biggest struggles is that I do not have a style yet. So I don't want to pin myself yet on a certain style, direction or niche. On YouTube, people will come for you in your story and to be inspired. I can provide that as a starting artist who will take you with me on my journey. Also, YouTube will help me set my goals and keep me accounted. I can keep working on my skills. Freelance For freelancing jobs, I want to illustrate biology-related content. Because I have a degree in biology, I can use my artistic skills to educate others with my biology illustrations. I maybe have my first job working as an illustrator or a biology book. Working in this field will mostly be about creating medical or aesthetic illustrations because there are strict guidelines on creating them. It is experience in creating and selling my art. I'm also creating a website for freelance work related to illustrations for communicating complex topics, biology or nature related illustrations. This so can clients can buy me for these kind of illustrations. Freelancing is tricky. You have to be active in attracting clients, especially in the beginning moment. I'm just emailing people who might be interested in having an illustration. Instagram. Instagram is a bit tricky nowadays. However, still a big part of the artist community is over there. I also still go to Instagram to find new artists and Instagram is basically a big interactive portfolio. Also the reels I make for Instagram I can use for YouTube shorts. Four. And the last one, a part-time job. Well, what can I say? I got to eat and I have to make a living with things that are not art related and I want to work part-time to achieve that goal. And so, yeah, 
it was my strategy. Hopefully you could take some inspiration from this. Most important is to set a goal, divide it into smaller goals and to see how you will achieve these goals. I hope I've informed or even inspired you. And this was the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and see you the next time.